Hello Aquarius, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at Val 53 Tarot. She's free for you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Ooh. Um... Dude, I haven't heard that in a while. I believe it's a song. Um, I believe the title is Cat Scratch Fever. It's an older song, I believe, yes. One more. Okay. Yeah, I get that. I get that, Aquarius. I do. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So jumping into this, um, I do see that you are showing me that you're all about taking some... <laughs> taking quite a... I'm going to say it this way. Um, you are showing me quite a bit of energy here of spending time alone, spending time to kind of to yourself. I'm not going to say in isolation because I definitely see that you have people around you. Um, but it's more so an energy of not forgetting oneself. I believe I just gave Gemini a very similar message. Um, not forgetting oneself, always acknowledging where you're at mentally. We're always acknowledging where you're at emotionally and strongly standing by that. Now, whatever is going on with this, I do see you are wanting to kind of fill things out as you're moving forward. And I see that you are starting some sort of new beginning or new journey here. I don't exactly know what this do uh, choice or decision is that you've made to start something. But overall, immediately, there is definitely some sort of pain, difficulty, burden here that you're having to kind of feel and express, acknowledge and heal from. But ultimately, I do see you are doing what is necessary because you are beginning to kind of gain perspective and clarity on your overall situation. And ultimately, what you're saying is, yes, I am gaining clarity. And so I'm not really going anywhere quite yet. Um, I definitely want to kind of keep and hold on to what is important to me. But it's all about being very slow, steady and cautious. And I feel like this overall energy is, um, I don't know why, but it also kind of feels like you have to tiptoe, possibly around someone around a certain specific situation it's very like i said very very cautious energy of okay am i how am i going to do this how am i going to say this how am i going to communicate this how am i going to relay this um how is it going to be and so there is that self-awareness kind of kicking in here but i do see at the same time i feel like there is communication taking place between you and someone just to kind of see where things go see where the conversation or even direction flows um Unfortunately, I do kind of feel, though, you are beginning to become a little bit guarded. And that makes sense. It's definitely something that is difficult to kind of work on and address and acknowledge, but you are doing it. And so you are coming up with some sort of possible plan or strategy here, which at the same time, you're ultimately showing me you are ready to take action. At the same time, I kind of feel like there, what you're saying is there just isn't enough information to just get up and go or get up and leave or get up and move forward. Um, it's almost like saying you are waiting for some sort of specific answer to make this call. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we can find. Oh, 
ultimately what you're saying, oh, I'm not going to say that message, but ultimately what you're saying is, um, I'm looking for that last piece of the puzzle for everything to become clear and kind of snap into focus. Let's see. And that's what I was wondering. That's what I was wondering. Um, there, there is, uh, whoever this person that is that you are in contact or communication with or near, um, I feel like you are making a decision. And what's fascinating about this, um, th there's some sort of connection that you're choosing to want to either work with on something, whether it be a relationship or whether it be a financial endeavor or collaboration, don't exactly know. Um, and that's what's very fascinating. Is you're ultimately saying you made some sort of decision or choice to work with someone and it feels good. It's an energy of like, there is love there or there could be love there. Um, at the same time, it's the equivalent of, well, I made a decision out of love or for love and it's not necessarily panning out that way. And it's kind of like, okay, well, what is going on then? Why, why isn't this working? Why isn't there anything kind of coming about from this connection? I'm not going to say it's an energy of being rejected or turned down. Um, possibly, possibly, but yeah, I get it. I get it. Aquarius. I get it. The damage is done. The damage you're, you're showing me the damage is done. Yes. You are acknowledging the thoughts and the emotions, but you're ultimately also saying the damage is done. And now you're trying to kind of figure out like, okay, how do I kind of pick up the pieces and still continue moving forward and somehow make this situation work the best way I possibly can? Oh goodness, that's that's difficult. That is very difficult. Yeah, you kind of should. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say, I was gonna say, whatever this is, definitely feels life altering or life changing. Um, and there you are. I'll show you both. I'll show you both Aquarius because there you are. You should see. You should see. Whatever this communication is, it's definitely open, honest, and vulnerable. Some might even say it's cold, it's blunt, it's unemotional, it's uncaring. It's the energy of just facts. It's like, you know what? It is what it is. And that may sound cold and harsh to people, but it's like, <sighs> rip the band-aid off. Um, regarding this communication, I feel like there, there, again, there is this fast communication to try and figure out like what is going on to kind of hold on to that hope, to hold on to that belief, um, again, but it's an energy of the damage is done. And I feel like you are choosing to kind of stay in a situation here and, you know, figure things out the best way you possibly can at the same time, even that statement of the damage is done is the equivalent of saying, I don't know why I'm here dealing with what I'm dealing with, or I don't know why I'm still dealing with who I'm dealing with, um, because it's just going to feel empty. It's going to feel like a void. And that's kind of like what you're showing me is, well, I'm trying to come up with some sort of possible plan as to how to move forward with all this, uh, but I'm just not too sure what is going on or what the truth, the real truth is. And that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, you're also showing me that there possibly could be some, I was going to say, there could be some sort of family situation or scenario here. Um, Cause I am looking at parental figure with a little one. And then as I was about to say that, then there comes the family card coming out. Um, yeah, fond. Yeah, it makes sense. A lot of, it, it's an energy of you've created so many fond memories with them. And it's kind of like saying because of that history, because of, in a sense, everything we've created and everything we've done so far together, it's making it very hard to see what the truth is. Um, goodness, goodness, Aquarius. That is the equivalent of saying, because we have a history, because we have that connection that spans a period or a chunk of time, it's making it hard to focus on what the truth is in front of you because you're still in a sense focused on, look at everything we've been through. And this is the same equivalent of the damage is done. The damage is done, unfortunately. And you're, you're showing me that's like, you are trying to gain clarity on this, which you are. And that's what I find very fascinating is again, Aquarius, that energy of you even coming to that point of the damage is done. It's kind of like saying cold, blunt, and harsh. Sometimes you kind of have to <laughs> pick yourself up and give yourself that same self-talk. It might sound cold and harsh, Aquarius, but that's how you yourself communicate and talk. 
And that's sometimes how you kind of have to have that self-talk too of like, I know I shouldn't be in this situation. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be in this situation. I'm in agreement with myself. And so therefore, you're not in disconnect with yourself. Therefore, you can, in a sense, focus on what you need to do. I understand that emotions are at play and there is a huge history here. Um, at the same time, <coughs> is there love here? You may have love for them, but are you in love with them? There is a difference. There's many different forms and levels of love. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. As there, there's still, it, you're, you're kind of trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat here, Aquarius. You are. You're, you're trying to, you're trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat, and it's kind of like, well, where'd the white rabbit run off to? You can't pull a rabbit out of the hat if the rabbit ran off, and that's kind of like what you're showing me here. Is I'm trying to kind of flip something around um, for some sort of some sort of possibility of where things can still go. Um, but again, that the rabbit, in a sense, in this situation, is your emotions, your your, your emotional energy. You're, you're kind of saying, "I'm so deeply pained by what is taking place. I got nothing left." And so, it's kind of like saying, "If life is taking you in a new direction here or a new path, follow that white rabbit and see what life has in store for you." But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have showing up: Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Pisces. Aquarius, Scorpio, and that is all. Don't forget to love oneself. Goodbye.